guys and welcome to today's video. As you probably know, it's getting to the time of year where people are soon going to be finding out what universities they've gotten into, where they're going to be spending the next three years, and that can be a bit scary. So today I'm going to give you some hints and tips on how to make that transition a little bit less scary by making friends before you get to university. So if you want to know how I did this, then please continue watching my video and don't forget to subscribe as I will be releasing more videos similar to this and I upload a lot of university related videos but just keep watching. As I'm filming this A level results day has not yet happened which means a lot of people do not know which university they've definitely gotten into. However for those of you with unconditional offers or deferred offers this video will be helpful right now. Those of you who haven't yet been accepted, this video could be helpful if you are definitely certain that you're probably going to get into the university that you chose to. And also this video will be helpful after results day when you do know what university you've gotten into. So one of the things that I think really helps make the moving to university process less daunting is knowing who your roommates are. Sorry, flatmates. Knowing who your flatmates are. So as soon as you get your um, email from your university telling you which halls you're in, what block you're in, what flat you're in and what room number you're in, you can go about starting to search for people who are in the same flat or the same building. So I did this, so I used, most universities have one of these Facebook pages that they're set up by companies. I'm no way sponsored in this video, I just found this really really helpful when I was moving to university. So if you don't have a Facebook account already, I would really really recommend getting one. I know that it's not the coolest thing on the block, but when it comes to university, Facebook is amazing because at British universities, or especially at Cardiff, this is how we create events and how we reach out to people and make events happen, get people to events and also how we meet other people, how we get in contact with other people within the university. Okay, so Cardiff University there is a Facebook group which looks like this. Most universities in the UK will have one of these, all you need to do is search for your university and then type in freshers. And um, this group gets updated every single year, so when I, this is the same group that it was when I joined, which was Cardiff University Freshers 2017 slash 18. That's the year I joined uni. Currently it's Cardiff University Freshers 2019 slash 2020. Anyway, you can go on here and there should be a big long discussion section. So go on here and you can type in, yeah. So go on this page and then it, there should be somewhere a big post from the admin that looks something like this that has links. On this, it has accommodation help and flatmate finder, which will take you to another page that will look something like this. I'm gonna say pretty much every university, again, in the UK has this. I'm just using Cardiff as an example because it's my university, so I know where these things are. Okay. In these groups, people post, I'm not gonna show them because obviously they have people's names on, um, and I don't wanna do that, but people will post, for example, someone has put anyone in Tally North House S. So anyone, you just scroll down, find something that is along the same lines as what you are. So say you also were in House S, you can then comment and then um, there will be someone or even you could create a chat for that house. So I didn't have to, someone else had already made a house chat for my house when I was moving into fresh accommodation. Um, if you can't find anyone in your um, house or in your flat, make a post on the Facebook page yourself saying I'm in this house, in this flat, anyone else and other people will comment as they'll be scrolling down and they'll find and then you can make a group chat of these people that are in the same house or in the same flat as you and birds fly and you can get to know them a bit before you go which honestly it is really helpful to do so oh my god I hate flies for example most universities have freshers wristbands for the events going on in freshers but you kind of want to be doing stuff with your flat most of the time in freshers so you kind of want to make sure you've got the same wristband so me and my flat did that so that all of us had the same wristband so we could get into the same events as well as finding your flatmates people also post what subject they're doing so you can get in a big subject chat so I found um, by scrolling through someone Oh, I think I got added to the English chat, but the philosophy one, I think I scrolled through and then someone was like, anyone else doing philosophy? And I was like, yeah, and then they added me to the big philosophy group chat for my year. 
um, which are really really helpful because then you can discuss the different things that are going on in freshers in terms of your course and the different events that are happening in terms of your course as, as well as the ones that are run by the university. For example, I am the social media um, officer for the English Lit Society and we do loads of events during freshers. We probably do more events during freshers in a more condensed amount of time than the rest of ours throughout the year, they're more spread out throughout the year, but in freshers we do like three different events um, and it's a great way to meet people once you get to university. But that is another matter. Anyway, as well as in your, in your flat chats, you can see if anyone else is doing your subject, as well in your house chat, two of my best friends at university who do English with me, both of whom I lived with this year, I met through my house chat in first year because they were in the same house as me but they weren't in the same flat so one was on the bottom floor and one was on the top floor and in our house chat everyone was going oh who, who does English so we knew who we could walk to lectures with um, and that's how we met because we then were like oh let's walk to lectures together because we're in the same building so you know like let's not be lonely and then we obviously sat next to each other and now we're all really good friends um, it's just a good way to make it a little bit less daunting because you then kind of know who you're flat are before you go, you know who you're going to walk to lectures with before you know, go, you know some of the faces of people that are going to be in your lectures and in your halls. I just, yeah, that is how I would suggest trying to make some friends before you go to university. It's definitely really helpful and it definitely makes the experience far less scary because you kind of know who you're expecting to walk through the door in your first week because not everyone arrives on the same day. But yeah, I hope you found this helpful. If you yourself are a fresher or have been a fresher and have any other tips on how to make friends before you get to university then please do leave them in the comments down below. Um, if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.